The two questions are, first, um, uh, is this replacement for other gas, um, or is it an addition to? Well, I'm not sure you can ever say that, an answer to that very clearly, but if you're talking about um, the strategic defence of our interests uh, in Britain and in Europe, then not to rely on gas coming from uh, countries who are unstable or unfriendly seems to me a perfectly sensible thing to do. Um, and yes, if the demand for gas is reducing all the time because climate change rules are pressing in and you get the right uh, budgets and you get the right uh, carbon um, uh, uh, markets, then it won't be a, um, an addition, it'll be a replacement. So it's the international agreements from, uh, <coughs> from Paris and onwards that will be crucial. And in Britain, it's the carbon budget. And we are making it absolutely clear, and the government has accepted that it has to be done within the carbon budget, and the carbon budget won't be expanded because we've got uh, this gas. But frankly, I don't think anybody would understand an argument which said uh, it's all right to have Russian gas, but it isn't all right to have your own gas. I think that's not sensible. But there is a last bit which we are very keen on, which is the time-limited bit, in the sense that we do want uh, to make it clear that this is an interim situation. So people who play, put down infrastructure, which manifestly is based upon the continued use of gas well into the late 30s, uh, really do have to understand that that isn't going to provide a return.